that would shake the foundations of racial Islamic training. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And as she began studying the gospel, and before she knew anything about baptism, she had a vision. I saw a man with a book, she said, and I was standing with him in water. And I saw my friend holding my arm, and we were both looking at the man with the book in his, open in his hands. And the man was looking into the horizon with tears running down his face. And I know, I knew that this man loved Jesus very much. The duration of the vision, she said, was fast and not fast. I could see details, but it only lasted a few minutes. She had never seen the man's face before. But when Easter came, her friend brought her to our church. And as they sat in the auditorium, waiting for the service to begin, Rachel suddenly saw a man walking down the aisle. Over there, that's the man, she explained. It was a man from her vision, a pastor named Nellon, who presides over baptisms at our church. She'd never seen him before, but there he was, standing right in front of her. And by the time she closed the last page of John's Gospel in the Bible study, Rachel put her trust in Jesus as her forgiver and leader.